women will often ignore important signs of health issues because we do not want to inconvenience anyone or appear that we are hassling anyone or have to insist on the fact that we require any type of care. My name is Lindsay Dixon and I'm a pharmacist here from British Columbia, Canada. Before you finish this video, I want to ask you to share it with at least one other person. You could be saving someone's life. Recently, my car had been making a very strange sound and everywhere we went, it made this strange sound, but I ignored it. It was a hassle. It was an inconvenience for me to have to deal with this. But the sound started to get worse and the car actually started to have issues with the way that it was driving. Now, taking the car to a mechanic is a hassle, but something was off. We took it in to the mechanic and we told them about the problem. They looked at it and they said, oh, we think we found the problem. It's fine. Take it home and drive it and see how it goes. After a few days, I started to notice the sound was coming back and the car, again, was not steering properly. I don't like to inconvenience people. I did not want to take the car back to the mechanic. It was a hassle for me. It was a hassle for them. And so we took the car back and they looked at it again, even though I felt bad asking them to look at something again when I know they've already looked at it. As it turns out, there actually was a serious problem with the car. Had I ignored this, it could have caused a bigger problem and a lot more damage could have been done. Women tend to ignore health issues as they feel it is more of a hassle and not of much importance. We tend to put ourselves aside in favor of those that we care about. The leading cause of death in all women is heart disease. This is greater than all cancers and all respiratory diseases combined. Did you know that women are five times more likely to die from heart disease than from breast cancer? One of the issues is that what we know about heart attacks is largely based on research that was done on heart attacks in men. And what we know now is that women's heart attacks often do not bear the same symptoms as in men. Typical symptoms of a heart attack in a man will often include chest pain, shortness of breath, weakness, and nausea. But women often experience symptoms that are much less specific, like fatigue that can go on for weeks, weakness, shortness of breath, trouble sleeping, anxiety. These are just some of the symptoms that can happen and can lead a woman to seek help. And often what happens when she does seek help is the provider tells her that she is experiencing anxiety, she is probably okay, and she is sent home. This is the story of many women who have experienced serious cardiac events. We often don't think that a woman is having a heart attack because she is not presenting the classic symptoms that we see in men. Because of this, women are often underdiagnosed when compared to men, the traditional risk factors for a heart attack are usually obesity, hypertension, smoking, diabetes. But let's look at some of the actual risk factors for women that you might not know. Additional risk factors for women include stress, lack of exercise, poor diet, South Asian, Chinese, or Afro-Caribbean descent, pregnancy complications, multiparity, polycystic ovarian syndrome, depression, autoimmune disease, oral contraception use, pre, during, or post-menopause, abdominal obesity, Marfan syndrome, and fibromuscular dysplasia. Carolyn Thomas is a heart attack survivor. And she has said, women need to know that they can have a heart attack, yet continue to walk, talk, and work. You see, this is not necessarily what we usually think about what a heart attack might look like. So if you can relate to any of this and you feel that you might be having a cardiac event, first of all, do not ignore this. What you are feeling is true and you should seek help. Second, talk to a healthcare professional point blank and say to them, I think I am having a heart attack. Trust 
when you are feeling that something just is not right. When our bodies are telling us that something is wrong, we need to seek help. We need to insist that we know that something is wrong. And we need to go back and go back and go back until we get an answer. And please don't forget to share this video. Thanks for joining me today. Take care and stay healthy.